You are now rocking with the cool cats and me, the DEV. So what do y'all think? Are cats smart or what? Of course they're not as smart as people. Wait a minute. My cats are definitely smarter than a couple of people I know. But I'm referring to like in the animal kingdom. Like are they up there with the smartest animals? The chimpanzee? The elephants or the dolphins? Cats are smart, but they ain't that smart. Batman doesn't agree, but nobody asked him. There are some incredibly smart animals out there. What about birds that can talk like people? That's amazing. Like a cockatoo or a parrot. I remember this girl I knew back home in D.C. She had this parrot. His name was Marvelous. He would cuss you out from the time you walked in the door to the time you would leave with every cuss word under the sun. Marvelous definitely knew more cuss words than I did. Don't you say nothing. Nah, but what we're going to do is the old standard. Compare cats to dogs. Why? Because it's the easiest for most people to relate to. These are the two most common pets. Though I'm sure they get tired of the comparisons. So which ones are smarter? Dogs or cats? Well, they're actually both very intelligent, but in different ways. Dogs are social creatures, while cats can have a more solitary lifestyle. They're social when it suits them. Dogs turn to people more often for social cues, and cats usually try to solve problems on their own. Both of these traits are signs of intelligence, though very different. You feel me? It's like asking, is a hammer a better tool than a screwdriver? It all depends on what you're trying to do. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Cats are generally considered smarter than dogs because of their more independent nature and their ability to solve problems on their own. But dogs are much more trainable and can even perform jobs. Now we also have to consider that there are different kinds of intelligence. There is cognitive intelligence, which deals with problem solving and memory, which are both strengths of the cat. There is also practical intelligence, which refers to an animal's ability to survive and thrive in the wild. In this regard, cats are better hunters than dogs. But you also have something called emotional intelligence, where dogs excel, having adapted to humans the way that they have. So guys, comparing the intelligence of two different species isn't exactly fair. As I said earlier, both dogs and cats are both intelligent in their own way. But did I answer the question of which one is smarter? Exactly. So let's just deal with your cat. Robin, 
Who told you to change the channel? I was watching that. If you suspect that your cat is too smart for their own good, you're probably right. Cats not only excel at learning new information, but they can also mess that information with things they've learned in the past. Recall it when needed and apply it to the current situation. That's right. Cats have good memories, but they can also learn by observation and doing. It is not unusual for them to learn how to turn on a light switch, ring a bell, or even open a door simply by watching people do it. Bro, man, thanks for doing the laundry. What do I owe you? You know what's even more amazing is that cats can associate individual memories of places or events with the emotions that they experience at that time. They can remember experiencing fear or pain as well as happiness or contentment. Studies also show that cats are aware of objects that aren't directly visible to them. They realize that something that's out of sight isn't necessarily gone. This ability is called permanent recognition. And believe me when I tell you, that is the evil eye that your cat is giving you when you pull that suitcase out the closet. He remembers how long you was gone the last time you pulled that bad boy out. Right, man. Thanks for the tip on the book. It was a good read. Here are some other signs of cat intelligence. Cats can tell the difference between a familiar voice and a stranger. Cats make up their own minds and aren't as easily influenced by social rewards like dogs and some other animals. Your cat can pick up on your emotional cues. Things like fear, anger, happiness, or sadness. They observe your reaction to evaluate how they should react to an unfamiliar situation. And cats are persistent when they really want something and are more likely to hold a grudge if they don't get their way. So, smarter than you thought, huh? That's right, certified feline style. That's right, even mine. Now remember, to treat your animals well, they didn't ask to be there with you, but now, all they have is you. Treat them like family. Thanks.